hello guys to this uh, little video on a new little tool that I've wrote uh, to help me speed up my rigging process um, so this one is on finger rigging and you may know from my rigs I have these little square controls here for each finger one uh, they store attributes for base um, for mid and end segments rotate x or Z I think and then these for that and then you have like all for each finger and until now I animated uh, all of the fingers like this posing these controls and doing doing stuff to these controls here uh, but now I wanted to improve a little more again and I added this extra master control to allow me uh, like a quick finger posing just so you can see that on many rigs out there online and I think it's really something important and uh, it's like a shame that I come up with this so late but here it is um, so basically this control has already been set up um, so it has a couple of poses like uh, a fist pose um, oops. Uh, a spread pose and some some custom poses, you know, to get to quickly animate things very so that you can animate stuff really quickly. And um, all of these have like an extra offset attribute, which means we can offset from index to pinky or from pinky to index uh, in time. So you can see when I set the offset to 10, the index lags a little behind and then comes back. So you can get like a very nice uh, smooth uh, thing going on or same thing on this side. And then it's just for every pose. Uh, for example, spread. So you can really get a more organic feeling into animation really quickly by tweaking just two attributes instead of all of these and offsetting shit and whatsoever. And yeah, so and th these things I rigged up in about five minutes with uh, the tool that I'm going to show uh, which basically is like an interactive way of doing these types of things where I can pose my hand with these controls the way I want it to and then use that pose and directly rig it onto this master control so I'm going to show you this on a new pose uh, so I launch here the tool this is super simple uh, pose name let's call it uh, uh, I, I stick up with fuck go away special poses A B C D comes next so the special poses D um, so it says here pose fingers on left hand then press button so we pose our fingers then I press the button and it stores the variables in uh, no no uh, this was the values in a variable for the positive, uh, which means uh, for positive 10 and then I can store the negative 10 values to get like another pose, to get like two different poses from one attribute um, so let's see finger let's choose this one uh, all these were only set for the right side uh, let me move these over. Uh, okay. So this is it. Let's see if that matches up with our gun. Maybe I can pull these in a little more. And these guys are really nice. That shall be enough. 
Maybe I can lose this guy. Something like that. Okay, I want to waste too much time on this. This pose should, uh, looks okay. Inside this. So this is our, our, our gun pose. Let's store them. So they are now stored. Now we can go ahead and zero these out. And do another pose. Um, I don't know. Let's do... Let's do some uh, Star Trek pose. This uh, funny little Vulcanian from the post. If you can do this, you are a true Vulcanian. Can we get a little bit of offset into these things to get a more natural look? And we can have this guy here more extreme and then something like that. So it's the negative values, that's it. Uh, we hit the make finger post rig button. Thinks about it, it says yep. You did it, and now we are here. Special poses D, special poses D offsets. So I can zero these values out, and if I come here, I can get these poses directly from one attribute and still have the functionality of this to offset shit. Um, and again, here also this little offset attribute to be like able to offset things so rigging setups like this involves a little bit of uh, set driven keys and node creating many nodes uh, and doing that with the uh, hyper shade or node editor or whatever it takes just loads of time and especially the set driven key tool which I really don't like um, so doing this with a setup like this is far cooler and yeah uh, of course this automatically gets them transferred to the right side as well so we have the same attribute here controlling the right hand side and yeah basically that's it Just a little side um, skip from this. So, yeah. Uh, next video I will do now will be about uh, my post corrective tool, which is now pretty much done. Um, so, see you on that later. Bye.